Little Mix characters, they have your attention. I'm Prof, one of Snow White's helpers, and it's my pleasure to be the master of ceremonies for the first annual Granny Awards. This is a live performance, which we are taping for the FTC, the Fairy Tale Channel. Now, before we go in air in just a few minutes, we need to go over a few things. First of all, please remain seated and turn all cell phones off. We also ask you to applaud generously when Weezy comes up with the applaud sign. That's great. Now, before we get things rolling, we're going to take five. Hey, Snoozy, you'd better stay here and guard the awards. Okay, Icky. I better not sit down or I'll fall asleep. That's the trouble with me. I fall asleep at the drop of a hat. If I fall asleep during the show, these awards could get lost <gasps> or even stolen. <sighs> oh, how I wish I could stay awake. Who are you? Alice in Wonderland. Not seriously. I'm your fairy godmother, Snoozy. I have a fairy godmother? Of course, silly boy. You're a fairy tale character, aren't you? Yes. Well, all fairy tale characters have fairy godmothers. What about Aladdin? Okay, so he had a lamp. What's the difference? Now, Snoozy, you just wish that you could stay awake, and I'm here to grant you that wish. How are you going to do that? Like this. Do you see those people out there? Yes, fairy godmother, I do. Well, when you start to doze, I will wave my magic wand at those wonderful people and they will shout, wake up, Snoozy. They will? Listen. <laughs> oh, goodness. You people are going to have to say it louder than that. Let's try once more. Wake up, Snoozy. That's better, but this time give it all you got. Wow, that'll keep me awake. Of course it will. Now just relax and take your seat. Don't say relax. You'll be just fine. Ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to begin. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. to you live from the Fairy Tale Channel. Introducing our Masters of Ceremonies, one of Snow White's helpers, Prof. Thank you, thank you. I'm pleased to be your host. But before I announce tonight's first winner, it's my privilege to introduce you to the persons whose retirement we are celebrating. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, Granny! Good evening, Granny. Good evening, Pro. Um, <coughs> it's Prof, Granny. Well, in my storybook, you're a pro, Prof. Thank you, Granny. You're welcome. Gr the granny, the reason we're all here tonight is to celebrate your time after 80 years in showbiz. Has it been that long already? Well, it seems like only yesterday I began playing the part of Grandmother in The Little Red Riding Hood. Why did you decide to retire at this point of your life? Well... I guess I was getting tired of being tied up with that silly old wolf, you know. He's been talking to me all week about his desire to get an award. 
But then, so have all the other fairy tale characters. It certainly is generous of you to go behind the scenes and produce an award show honoring those dedicated fairy tale characters who still entertain us. My pleasure, Prof. Granny, it's time to take your seat of honor. The first award for this evening is for Best Female Vocalist. May I have the envelope, please? And the winner is... Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask the chorus to introduce our winner. upon the breeze and oh you echo back to me this song with its simple melody la 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 One more time. That song brought tears to my eyes. Evidently, it brought sleep to snoozies. And now, folks, a word from our sponsor. Calm down, Rabbit. It's just a commercial. Does this ever happen to you? Do your clocks make you late? This one's for jam or jelly over your time pieces. If this has ever happened to you, just come on down to Hickory Dickory Dot Clocks. Have we got a clock for you? Slow clocks, fast clocks, even clocks that tell the correct time. Just come on down and get an hour hand and we'll throw in the minute hand for free. That's Hickory Dickory Dot Clocks. We're open until. Wait a minute. I don't know how it's all time. Oh well, just come on down. Thank you. 
the next award is for best male vocalist. May I have the envelope, please? And the winner is Jack from Jack and the Meanstock. Here he is to sing for you. Climb that vine till I reach the stars. Gonna climb so high. Gonna find you back. Gonna find my baby fortune and my baby Jack. Gonna climb that vine. That incredible vine. I'm gonna climb that vine till I reach the stars. of greenery and and now the next word is for best dramatic scene may I have the envelope please and the winning fairy tale is Cinderella here's that award-winning scene We better leave. Oh, no, you don't. Let me try it again. Give it to me. It's my shoe. Give it to me. It's my shoe. It's my shoe. I it's my shoe. Oh, oh, it's got to be the corn upon my toe. Yes, it's the corn upon my toe that makes my foot up here. Either one would be bad news What a nasty situation Try to fill my obligation Show me to the nearest door And I'll remain a bachelor
to certainly take the role seriously. <laughs> and now, folks, another word from our sponsor. People are always asking me how I keep my hair silky, smooth, and shiny. I know it's mostly because of my natural beauty, but I do have a secret. Yeah, you and your big feet. Hey! We both have beautiful hair. True, true, we are beautiful. But this... <sighs> has never happened to us. That's because we never do any work. And we use the fairest one of all, shampoo and conditioner. Beautiful, manageable, prince-catchable hair. Use the fairest one of all every day. Even with just one shampoo, well, your hair can almost become as beautiful as mine. Ready, Rapunzel? Wow! Amazing! I'm still prettier. So buy the fairest one of all shampoo and conditioner today. Go from rags to riches. It's even strong enough to climb. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your long hair. Jack and Jill spring on. It puts a spring back into your step. Tonight's next winner, I would like to take a moment to recognize the accounting firm of Prince Castle House, who has tabulated the results for tonight's awards. Ladies and gentlemen, meet our accountant. The next award is for best choreography. May I have the envelope, please? And the winner is... I knew it! The winner is the fairy tale that has started the new dance craze. By now, all of you know that I'm talking about doing the walkie-talkie. Here are Goldilocks and the Three Bears to perform it to you. Why should I? When you're ugly, yes, you're ugly. Keep you 
I bet you can't wait to get home and try that one. And now, folks, I'm going to call on Granny, our honored guest, to announce the next winner. Mr. Wolf! Why, it is you! I know those eyes anywhere. Oh, hi there, Granny. Mr. Wolf, coming couldn't have been better. I'd love to have you, my fellow actor and dear friend, help me announce these next winners. With pleasure. This is the category of Best Rap. May I have the envelope, please? And the winners are... You tell him, Mr. Wolf. Red Riding Hood and the Rappers. You're a big bad wolf, that's what you are. You don't deserve to be a movie star. You think you're tough, but you're just too rough. You never know when enough's enough. You're a big bad wolf. bad guy. But you guys said I got too carried away. Hogwash. You just like to ham it up. Actually, Mr. Wolf, I'm proud of you. You are? I sure am. Why, well, it's quite a grind to perform in two different shows the way you do. Yes, not many actors can keep up that kind of pace. Not only that, we have all thoroughly enjoyed working with you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gee, thanks, guys. And now, Mr. Wolf, I would like to present to you a special award, the Covenant Best Villain! I don't deserve this, <laughs> especially after trying to steal this award all night. <laughs> That's okay, Mr. Wolf. You're only human. <laughs> all I could say is that I'm thankful that you see me for who I really am. I'm not that bad of a guy, you know. You're a great guy. And you have certainly earned this award. Thanks, Granny. Well, folks, this has been quite a night. Granny, on behalf of all of us, I'd like to thank you for this wonderful evening of fun and entertainment. And I wish you the best in your retirement years. We from the Land of Fairy Tales would like to thank you all for coming. Good night, and may you all live happily ever after.
Uh, we appreciate the kindness that you show. Many of you were in the show when you were in fifth grade, or you were in the Emperor's New Clothes, or third grade. All right, so you know what it's like to get up here in front of a lot of fifth and sixth graders. It's scary, and they did an awesome job. So if you will turn 